I'm Sally Robertson. This is my husband, Barry Gwilt. This is Trefinan Farm, and he's now going to tell you what that means because it's a Welsh word. Yeah, well, Trefinan is a, a Welsh name, and it doesn't, Welsh doesn't translate into English very well, not very well at all. Basically, what Trefinan means is it's an association of of farm small holdings and water so it could be the farm by the springs or the farm by the stream or the small holding basically that's what it is um, in 2007 we got married yeah. and then in 2008 we moved here mm. and he decided he wanted to farm something he mm. hadn't had a chance to do when he was younger so we said why not so we started with turkeys mm. they were very popular uh, he wanted to do geese because geese are very popular back in the UK mm -hmm. which is kind of cool and I wanted chickens because I'd always had chickens, even in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So we got our chickens, we uh, started selling eggs, and we got some ducks, which are really fun. Mm -hmm. And we just went from there. Yeah, yeah. And try and we, we do everything totally natural. We don't use no fertilizers, no medication, not even soy in our foods. Everything is totally organic, totally natural. And it we works. use fertilizers from the llama, actually. The llamas are great. But from the llamas, yeah. Given us fertilizer. <laughs> but it works great because um, the turkeys that we've grown, the feedback that we get from people, and by the way, they taste totally different, totally different. than what you buy. The dry cardboard that you buy <laughs> that they call a turkey at the supermarkets, these are totally different. And a goose. I wish I could get people to understand what a goose is all about in Georgia because I think if you had a goose, there's no way you go back to a turkey. They're, they They're are really beautiful. <clears throat> and when you when you when you cook your goose, you get that lovely viscous oil that's left, which is great for if your wife likes to bake or cook or even put it on your boots to keep them waterproof. I don't let anything at all. It's you know, too valuable. It's, too valuable. it's too valuable. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going well, isn't it? It has. We mostly sell eggs right now. That's, uh, we did a lot of meat, but uh, I've worked full time, so I'm, I'm kind of the chief cook and uh, processor. So mm -hmm. since we don't have as much time anymore, mm -hmm. we sell eggs, which is great. It's, it's a nice little way to keep the farm going. So uh, we have a nice uh, dedicated group of customers who like mm -hmm. our eggs, and they're always surprised at how good they are. Good thing that we discovered is, particularly with our goose eggs, is people with children with learning difficulties and autism, autism and the likes. And chicken egg allergies will come to us for duck eggs. Yeah, because there seems as if there's a... There's something in the eggs, we're not sure what it is, that they yeah. are... They, we don't know if it's the fat or the lecithin, but there's something in it that they seem to do better if there's some kind of learning disability. Yeah. We had several, I think I had four moms with kids with autism of varying mm -hmm. levels who were yeah. getting uh, eggs from us at one time. And uh, we always have folks whose uh, kids are allergic to chicken eggs who are contacting us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we usually do not have enough duck eggs for the market, unfortunately, but we try to send them to other folks if we don't because it seems like a pretty important thing to help them. If, mm -hmm. if that does help their kids, that's great. Well, I don't know why, but I'm happy to try to help them keep their kids on a, an even keel. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we collect our eggs, some are olive green, some are blue, some are brown, some are very brown, some are lighter. So when we, when we box them, we just keep a variety of all different colors and um, some people say blue eggs green I always, thought, them? I always thought eggs were white or brown <laughs> it's just something wrong with them <laughs> you know it's really what funny. kind of chicken lays brown egg yeah. a chicken we like real food and the one good thing is that some nights we're sitting at the table having dinner and everything on that table is either grown by us or by our friends. Or by our friends. Be it meat, be it veg, be it whatever. So we know exactly where this come from. Yep. And um, that's and it's not that far away. Most of these are yeah. farms within definitely an hour of us. Yeah. So it's out it's, there if you want it. Yeah, it really is. You know, and and you know when I go to the supermarkets, well the both of us when we go to a supermarket, because you have to go for some things. And I pick these boxes up or pick these and, and read on them. What is it? What is yeah. it? It's what supposed is to be it? food. What is it? It's, it's from Mars? You know? Oh, they eat better on Mars. Probably do. They eat better on Probably food. do. But, it, you know, without going off too much about it, but 
You know when this food is full of all these chemicals and antibiotics? The end of the line is our body. What's it what's it doing? What's it doing to our kids? You know, we're halfway through our lives, but what's it what's the future for our kids? You know, it's it it's sad. Yeah, so I think it's sad. So we've chosen to eat a different way. Local. That's Shop the local. answer. Shop Real local. local, not just Yeah. You know, for you know? everything. Yeah. And right around Rockdale and the areas, you, you really can find all of that. And you know, without becoming too political, you know they talk about global warming and fossil fuel running out and everything. Just go and stand on the side of the 20, the 85, the 70, and watch all the trucks running back all up and down the country fetching the same thing you can buy around here. Where's the logic? Where's the sense? I think it's just... I don't understand. Is there... I don't understand. It's crazy when you can grow yes. it locally.